do you wonder, Wonder Cat? I wonder, where do lost balloons go? Where do lost balloons go? If you're curious enough, you can find out. Well, lost balloons start getting lost when they go up into the air. Lots of things go up into the air. Some things that go up into the air get moved by the air, too. lots of things. But as hard as I try, and my eyes are very good, I still can't see air. Sometimes I can feel it moving and pushing. You can feel it when it's moving because air is real. You just can't see it. You can't reach out and touch it. Like you can touch a rock, for instance, because air isn't a solid thing like a rock is. It's a gas. Air is more like water than it is like rock. Air is a gas, a gas you can't see, but you can see things through it. It's an invisible gas that's all around us. Well, if all this invisible gas is all around us, how can things go through it? It's a lot like when something goes through water. It looks like the boat pushes the water aside while it moves through. I see. The boat does push the water aside. And that's how it can move through the water. The water is pushed aside as the boat goes through the space where the water was. And then the water comes back into that space as the boat moves out of it. So. Things that move through the air must push the air aside. Except I can't see it because the air is invisible. But I still wonder. What do you still wonder? I wonder. When lost balloons go through the invisible air, where do they go? But I'm curious. I'll find out. Look, there are two lost balloons. But they're not going through the air in the same way. That's right. One is just being blown along the ground by the wind. But the other one seems to keep going higher and higher. What's different about them? Maybe finding out where they came from will help you find out what's different about them. People are blowing up these balloons. This is one the children blew up. Air blew away this balloon. And air also fills these balloons. It comes from inside the children who are blowing them up. And people get the air for blowing up the balloons from the air all around them. They breathe it in, they blow it out. You put more and more air into a balloon, and it gets bigger and bigger. The air must be stretching it. That's right. Air inside things pushes, too. The air inside this balloon, and inside these balloons, too, is like the air that's outside them. Is the air inside these balloons different? Look how they pull on their strings. The air inside these balloons is different. In fact, it really isn't air at all. It's a gas, like air is, but it's a different kind of gas. This gas is called helium. It's lighter than air. Balloons filled with helium float in the air. In fact, if you don't hold them down, they go up, up, up through the air like this lost balloon. I wonder. I wonder. What do you wonder? I wonder what will happen to the lost balloon as it goes up through the invisible air. If I'm curious enough, can I find out? 
Yes, but you need a way to go up into the air. Let's imagine you were being carried by a balloon filled with helium, up, up through the air. Let's see what it would be like. Are you comfortable? So far. But as you go up, it gets colder and colder. Does that mean that the higher you go, the colder it gets? That's right. Thanks. The winds blow hard up here. Wind is air that moves. Oh, now I see why balloons can travel so far. And something else is happening. It's getting harder for you to breathe. You need your own supply of air up here. Is that because there's less and less air the higher you go? That's right. Now sometimes as a balloon goes higher, the helium leaks out of it and it slowly falls back to Earth. But your balloon doesn't leak. And it's getting bigger and bigger. Remember, there's less air up here. So it's easier for the gas inside the balloon to push on the balloon and stretch it. And if you go high enough, and if some of the gas inside the balloon doesn't leak out, or if it isn't let out, then a balloon bursts. Oh! Oh. The fall is slower with a parachute. Its shape makes it hard for the air to get out of its way, and so the air slows you down. So you see, all lost balloons, and cats attached to them, eventually fall back to the earth. And now you're back in your favorite tree again. And you know many things about lost balloons. Yes, now I know where lost balloons go. But there's a lot more for me to wonder about. <laughs>